Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. Today we are going to discuss aspirin poisoning. For ease, we have named the scene as sugar store due to sweet taste of aspirin and its crystalline nature. Aspirin is also known as acetylsalicylic acid and it belongs to category of antipyretic and analgesic. So, let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of aspirin. So, you can see a weight scale on the front of the diagram that is having values of 5 to 10 so 5 to 10 gram is the fatal dose of aspirin fatal period of aspirin is not much significant or specific and it ranges from few minutes to few hours so let's talk about the mechanism of action if you remember fan and his ox from video of acetaminophen poisoning we have represented the same scene in the background in the form of a frame so you can see fan and he is holding the same ox let's have a little recap so fan was holding the ox and the ox was having two labels number two and number three on its horn representing cox 2 and cox 3 inhibition but here we have replaced the tags with number one and number two signifying that aspirin causes COX-1 and COX-2 inhibition. So the mechanism of action is same as paracetamol that that is the COX inhibition. But just remember it is inhibiting COX-1 and COX-2 instead of COX-2 and 3 that was related to the paracetamol poisoning. Let's talk about the sign and symptoms of aspirin poisoning. We are representing the sign and symptoms with the two boys who are wearing blue shirts. So let's talk about the boy who is standing in the front who is wearing a blue shirt and is having a blue face. He is covering his ears and bees are buzzing around. So let's see what is it representing. So the boy with the blue shirt and blue face representing cyanosis and hyperapnea that is rapid and deep breathing the boy is also having rash on the forearms and you can see bees that are buzzing around his ear that are representing the symptom of ear buzzing and giddiness very important point that you need to know is that the patient is hyperapnic that means he is breathing rapidly and deeply so there would be hyperventilation that will result into carbon dioxide depletion and the patient will go into respiratory alkalosis when the patient will go into the respiratory alkalosis as a compensation the body will go into metabolic acidosis because the natural compensation to the respiratory alkalosis is metabolic acidosis so in order to remember this we have placed a box that says real ma that is lying just right to the boy you can remember this as real me that is a famous mobile phone brand so we have changed the me with the ma that will help you remember the mnemonic so real ma stand for r e respiratory a l alkalosis respiratory alkalosis and ma stand for metabolic acidosis the patient will have respiratory alkalosis and later on as a compensatory mechanism he will go into metabolic acidosis let's move with the second boy who is also wearing a navy blue t-shirt so as you can see the boy is vomiting and beneath the boy is a giant pool of blood with black solid material so as you can clearly see the boy is nauseous he is vomiting and the giant pool of blood with black solid material is representing hematemesis and melina so these are characteristic finding of aspirin poisoning melina means black stools and hematemesis mean vomitus that is with blood so these are due to the erosion of gastric mucosa leading to fatal hemorrhage that is represented by a giant pool of blood as you can see our classic go symbols on the top of the boy these are representing hallucination mental alteration and encephalopathy so let's recall uh, the sign and symptoms as these would have been mumbled up so the first boy was representing cyanosis and hyperapnea and he was having a rash on his forearms and we were seeing the symptoms of ear buzziness and giddiness. The next boy was having vomiting, hematemesis, melina due to the gastric erosion 
and it was leading to the fatal hemorrhage also we had symptoms of cns like mental alteration hallucination and encephalopathy let's move on to the post mortem appearance the post mortem appearance is very similar to the sign and symptoms we can see rashes petechial hemorrhages mucosal erosions lung edema etc for ease we have also represented our post mortem appearance with the microscope that is having a slide of lungs you can also uh, see the video of organophosphorus poisoning we had the same microscope and the same slide so the lungs are representing lung edema as you can see there is fluid in the lungs and there are dots on the lungs that are representing the petechial hemorrhages so just remember along with the rashes and the petechial hemorrhages we are also having lung edema and mucosal erosions are also present uh, due to the hematemesis and melina etc let's move on to the treatment of aspirin poisoning so there is a table on the right side and you can see a bunch of bottles there on the bottom you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle firstly it was seen in cannabis video so gastric lavage is indicated in aspirin poisoning next on the table you are seeing a bottle with the brown lid that is having a label of vitamin k so vitamin k administration is also given in aspirin poisoning uh, it is because the aspirin has anticoagulant effect also so in order to cure that we are giving vitamin k there is an other bottle that is having label of the urinary system so alkaline diuretics are also given in aspirin poisoning along the bottles you can see a stand having a pint of blood in it so blood transfusions are also given in case of aspirin poisoning to so summarize we are having gastric lavage we are giving vitamin k we are giving alkaline diuretics and we are also giving blood transfusions if needed so let's talk about the medico legal importance in the end it is represented by a boy who is wearing a rye t-shirt with a large head wearing a virus t-shirt and holding his abdomen so the boy is representing the rye syndrome as rye is written on his t-shirt it is very important and is characterized by brain swelling and also is related to swelling in the liver so brain swelling and liver swelling are characteristic of the rye syndrome so as you can see there is a virus imprint on the t-shirt so it is due to the ingestion of aspirin tablets during a viral infection so we can say the rye syndrome we get rye syndrome when we take aspirin during a viral infection and that is characterized by brain and liver swelling so it was all about aspirin poisoning hope you got a better insight if you have any questions you can drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins, refer our textbook, Excel Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, available at all major medical bookstores all over Pakistan.